These quick dinner rolls are pillowy soft and they are light and fluffy and they have a rich buttery smell and flavor. The recipe is very straightforward and we can make these super soft dinner rolls with only 7 basic ingredients. Another good thing about this recipe is that we can make fresh homemade dinner rolls in less than 2 hours. And in this quick recipe, we don't need to wait for that double proofing and so we can save a lot of our time. So today, let's see how to make these quick, soft and fluffy dinner rolls in 4 simple steps. So to make these dinner rolls, we'll need some flour, some milk, egg and butter to enrich our dough and some salt and sugar to enhance the flavor and some yeast as a leavening agent. So as the first step, let's start by preparing our dough. It's so easy to make this dinner roll dough into a bowl. We need to add all of these ingredients and mix everything together. So let's add milk which is not too cold or not too hot, just a slightly warm because yeast always need a sweet and warm environment to bloom up. So let's add some sugar and then one teaspoon of yeast. Here I've used instant yeast. You can use active dried yeast as well. And then I'm adding one egg and some softened butter. Here I've used very soft butter so that it will be easy for us to blend everything together. And then add some salt and give it a good stir to mix everything together. And now let's add in the flour into this and we can use either bread flour or all-purpose flour to make these dinner rolls. Bread flour can give more light and soft dinner rolls as they contain more protein and hence more gluten stands. But here I've used all-purpose flour which is more conveniently available for most of us. So just combine everything together using a wooden spoon to form a shaggy mass of dough. And now let's transfer this onto a clean work surface. And if you are using a stand mixer, then it will be so easy for you to make the bread dough. But if you are kneading the dough by hand, you may find the dough to be a little sticky in the beginning. At this stage, we may get tempted to add more flour into this, but don't do that. Just continue to knead for 3-4 to four minutes and you will see the texture of our dough changes and it will not stick to your hands. Adding water will loosen the protein structure which will help to create more lengthy gluten strands. The water will be absorbed into the dough in about a minute of kneading and you will get a softer dough. And we need to knead our dough until we get a very soft and elastic dough that springs back when pressed on with your fingers and they are no longer sticky. And we can also check the gluten development or the doneness of our dough with the window pane test that is to pull a small portion of the dough and stretch it with your hands and it should stretch to form a very thin sheet without tearing. If we are using bread flour it is so much easy to attain the stage but if we are using all-purpose flour then it will take a little longer kneading time to get to the stage. 
now our dough is ready for the second step that is to divide and shape the dough i rolled the dough into the shape of a loaf so that we can divide the dough into equal pieces here i'm dividing it into 15 equal pieces or if you want to be more precise each of these balls is about 40 grams and we don't need to stress over this step but the closer they are in similar size the more even they will rise and bake and now let's shape our rolls so flatten each of the dough piece and then tuck in the edges towards the center and then roll it into the shape of a round ball and place these smooth balls onto a prepared baking tray as my baking tray is not non-sticky i've greased the tray with some butter and then placed a parchment paper on top so that it will be easy to remove the rolls from the tray after it's been baked And now our rolls are ready for the third step that is to proof the rolls. So cover the tray with a plastic film and let them sit and rise in a warm environment for 60 minutes. And after one hour our dough balls have risen well and now I'm going to give an egg wash to make them more appealing to your eyes when they come out of the oven. Egg wash can give that beautiful shine and golden brown color to our rolls when they are baked. I prepared this egg wash just by blending together one tablespoon of milk and one egg until they form a smooth mixture. And now our rolls are ready to go into the oven so bake it at 375 Fahrenheit preheated oven for 18 to 20 minutes or until they are golden brown on top And when they are done, take the tray out of the oven and remove the rolls from the baking tray and place them on a cooling rack and allow them to cool down for a few minutes before serving. And nothing can beat that smell and flavor of those freshly baked homemade dinner rolls. And you can see our rolls are pillowy soft and they are light as cotton. And these are one of the best dinner rolls I've ever had. And I love this recipe. I love the texture of these rolls, so soft and fluffy. They are super delicious. And the most special thing I like about this recipe is that we can bake these rolls in less than two hours i hope you found this quick recipe helpful and hope you will make this at home and i'm sure you will love it if you like this video please give a thumbs up and please share this recipe with your friends and family who are looking for a quick recipe for making soft and fluffy dinner rolls and please write to me your valuable comments and thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time mm -hmm.